Namibia joined South Africa and several civil society groups last year to reject a decision by the African Union Commission to grant Israel observer status at the continental body. Palestine's Foreign Minister Riyad al-Maliki is in Namibia to personally convey his government's appreciation to Namibia. We cannot forget you know, uh, where you stand and we uh, do expect you to continue supporting the struggle of the Palestinian people uh, onward in a way that you, know, you have done it you know, in the past. Al-Maliki says his country will fight against Israel occupation and defeat the system of apartheid in Palestine. This for us is very important. Israel has, you know, uh, upgraded their system uh, in the occupied Palestinian land from a system of occupation to a system of colonization and right now a system of apartheid and persecution. And for us... You know, uh, it is right now a different fight. That fight, we should really take it uh, to different capitals, to the United Nations, but also everywhere. Nandine Deitwa says it is Namibia's responsibility to ensure that sovereignty and territorial integrity of each nation, including Palestine, are respected. She says Namibia will continue to advocate for Palestine's recognition as a member of the United Nations. We want to assure you that uh, the government and the people of Namibia will continue to render their support to the people of uh, Palestine. Uh, we will continue to make our voice heard in the international community uh, until people of Palestine have uh, their dignity has been restored and uh, self-determination is uh, realized. Al-Maliki also expressed his country's willingness to share expertise in the fields of medicine, agriculture and water technology. The two countries signed two memorandums of understanding, which are political negotiations and a joint commission of cooperation. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.